Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will talk about how to calculate the correlation, Pearson correlation of the variables that we have within our research. Once you have calculated the, uh, the variables using the transform, your variables are calculated. Now you will move on towards the next step where you would establish that all these latent variables, all these constructs are related to each other. To uh, assure that you would calculate the correlation and to do that, we will click Analyze, we will go to Correlate, click on Correlate, click on Bivariate. Now, uh, I would just remove all these items that I placed here before. I don't want them. I want my, my latent variables this time. I don't need the items. I want the latent variables. I've calculated all my latent variables and these are the ones that I have here. These are six variables that I have. I'll put them all over here. And next, I'll click Pearson. The same procedure that I fo followed for the discriminant and convergent validity, I'll just simply quick click on OK and it would give me the result for correlations. Now this is correlation table again, but this time it's looking very sane. Why? Because I have very few values. It's just the six variables that I'm looking into the correlation of. Now again, why did I select one tail test? Because I have a hypothesis that is talking about either a negative effect or the positive effect of one variable on the other. I'm not talking about just having no effect or having an effect. I have directional hypothesis and uh, which are presented in form of a conceptual uh, model at the end of my literature review and that's why I'm using one tail tests over here. Now, if you look at each uh, correlation that I have, all the correlations are significant. You can see all of the correlations are significant. Yes. And that's a good news for me in terms. But yes, I have a little problem over here on in this correlation. That purchase intention is not highly correlated with uh, the review quality. But all of the other correlation values are good here because the acceptable range or the recommended range for the correlation is uh, between 0.3 and 0.7. As a correlation above 0.7 also indicates that it might give us the problem of collinearity. But it is advised that the correlation should be somewhere around this. Now, if you want to report this data, how do we include it in our report? This is how it should look like in your report. This is this is a format that we follow for APA formatting. Now it's another data, it's not the same one. You can see that we keep the upper half blank. We just keep the lower half filled with the correlation values. And we remove all those sig values or the p values. And we also remove the number of items from there. It's only these correlations that we present over here. So this is all what we do in the correlations. And that's all for this video over here. See you in the next video soon. Bye.